She continued here with Dana Bash. You just heard uh, me ask the secretary about was something that you called on the Biden administration to do, which is just to simply ignore the court ruling. Um, that's a pretty uh, stunning position if you think about it in the in the abstract about the notion of just ignoring uh, a judge's position. So I, my question is, when this case is resolved by the Supreme Court, should the administration follow that decision if that decision ends up banning this abortion drug? Well, you know, I, I want to take a step back and, and dig into the grounds around ignoring this preliminary ruling as well. There is an extraordinary amount of precedent for this. There is a term known as agency non-acquiescence. The courts rely on the legitimacy of their rulings. And when they make a mockery of our system, a mockery of our democracy, and a mockery of our law, as the as what we just saw happen in this Mifepristone uh, ruling, then I believe that the, that the executive branch and we know that the executive branch has an enforcement discretion, especially should, should, in light of a contradicting ruling coming out. Unbelievable that she could call the judicial branch making a mockery, what did she say, a mockery of democracy. She is a living, walking, breathing mockery of democracy. Also, the way Dana Bash frames that question, she basically she says it's a pretty stunning position in the abstract of the notion. Have you ever heard anything more perfect from just like a useless CNN anchor in the abstract of the notion. We don't need the abstract of the notion. You are calling for one branch of government, the executive branch, to not abide by the law that the judicial branch is passing. That's not the abstract of the notion. It's pretty flat out right in front of your face. I believe at this point, AOC, by calling, by publicly, as a member of Congress, publicly calling, for Congress and in specifically, she's calling for the Biden administration, the executive branch. I don't know if AOC knows this. She was confused about it a few, a few years ago. We have three branches of government. I'll lay them out for you in just a few moments. Um, I don't know if she knows this. Well, she does, I know she wasn't sure a few years ago how many branches of government there are, but by her as a Congress person in one branch of government calling on another branch of government, the executive branch, to ignore the decisions of the third branch, the judicial branch, I think she's in a violation of her oath of office. I want you to listen. We found it. It's only 32 seconds long. Here is AOC taking her oath of office, being sworn in a couple of years ago. And listen, listen to the words that she is swearing to abide by. Solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I do that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. I do. That you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. I do. And that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter, so help you God. I do. Congratulations. Thank you. Does a woman who is now telling you that she's going to have one branch of government ignore the rulings of another and, and encourage a third branch of government to go ahead and do that, does she seem like she is protecting her oath of office to defend the Constitution?